What's going on, you guys? So, my name is Lloyd. Uh, I'm not the single guy, and I brought back the, uh, the Spock t-shirt. I don't know if you guys remember this. I used to wear this years ago, and I stopped, but bringing it back. So, uh, I have a question from a viewer, and he writes, Hey, Lloyd, your advice is killer. <laughs> I had a question. I used to be really good with women when I was younger, but now that I'm older and in my 30s, I'm not getting nearly the results I did in my early 20s and in college. I'm not sure what is going on, but my confidence is much lower. I feel like women are less attracted to me. What can I do to change this around? Well, believe it or not, this is something that I get from a lot of guys. Uh, I actually have several clients who, when they were younger, they were doing really well with women, and then they got like, older, sometimes in their 30s. Um, they feel like they suck with women now. They feel like women don't like them. They feel less confident. They feel uh, less assured about their ability to be able to attract the opposite sex, get a date, keep a date, and, and that, those kinds of things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about what are the common problems that those guys have and how to actually get over them, because I've, I've coached guys through this many times. Um, and it is a process, you know? Believe it or not, it does happen a lot. Although it's kind of like the opposite of what happened to me, which is where I felt like women didn't like me at all in my early 20s. Um, and then started later as I got older, I got better and better, and, and now I'm where I'm at now, which is a very confident place. Um, I feel like uh, this guy is going through a very common thing that happens. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the reasons for why you're feeling the way you are and how to get out of it. Okay. Let's talk about what the common situation is. Usually this guy is maybe like a popular kid in school or a semi-popular or something like that, or maybe he got popular right after college or something like that. Um, usually he's something like that. Now, when you have an environment that really is positive for you, um, it's gonna breed confidence. Like you're gonna feel better about it. Like in college, there are guys, like I gotta be honest with you, there's a lot of really terrible, uh, for lack of a better term, shithead guys in college that do really well with women because they're popular, they're good looking with the captain of the football team or whatever it is, okay? Uh, and they have that and they can keep that going for a little bit after college too because they tend to hang out with the same people. Maybe they go, they go to the same job. The job that I got out directly out of college, um, most people that came there I actually knew from, uh, from previously, which was kind of annoying for me because I wasn't that popular of a guy and didn't really hang out with that many people, but um, it happened. But if you were a guy who was really popular, you can still keep that going for a while. So a lot of times it's their environment and the things that they're doing that allow them to get the women that they're getting. And then as they slowly but surely get older, they start getting separated from people. They stop having the same things that they had before. Maybe they gain a little bit of weight. Uh, women stop looking at them in the same way. It's usually just a change of environment and then they kind of like get used to just having a quiet life and then uh, maybe they get a girlfriend for a little bit, they break up with them or maybe they don't. And then they come back into this dating world or they say that I'm gonna actually start trying to get results and they can't do the same things that they were doing in the past because those things don't exist for them anymore. They don't have that social group. They don't have those parties that they used to go to. They don't have the network or they don't have the abs or whatever it is that they had in the past that they would use to get girls. Okay, so if you're in a position where you're trying to attract women and you're trying to make this happen and you feel like you've lost your mojo, how do you get your mojo back? Well, you have to learn a new paradigm. You have to learn something that you probably haven't learned before, but if you learn it, you're gonna be much more powerful than you were back then and you're gonna be able to recreate that environment, okay? So what I usually recommend that those guys do is focus on the basics, you know? You gotta go back to sometimes square one. This doesn't mean you're gonna stay at square one for very long, but a lot of times, the, the biggest thing that I have to change about a guy who's in this position is his ego. He has a certain opinion of himself that he does not wanna change. So if you're trying to get your mojo back, you, ought, you just wanna get your mojo back. You don't wanna have to go through the, the steps that you went through when you were a kid because you've already done them. Like, why do you gotta do them again? <laughs> well, the truth is in life, when you're trying to reinvent yourself or you're trying to get back to where you were before, you gotta do the things that you did before to get back there. Now, you don't have the benefit of having a college or your friends all around you or maybe those kinds of things that you were using in the past if that's what you used, um, but you do have yourself and you do have people around you. So as an adult, you typically have to sign up for different activities. You typically have to meet people in different ways. Maybe it's through your work, maybe it's through your hobbies, maybe it's through um, the people around around you, maybe it's through events, charities, um, things like that, okay? There's tons of examples that I use for being able to create a network for yourself. For me, my network comes from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, from the networking events that I go to, um, and from just generally organizing events and parties and things like that, okay? So there's a lot of ways, or, and, and business colleagues as well too, like don't forget that, there's, you know, a lot, lot, of, lot of ways that I do it. So if you're in this position, figure out how to create a network for yourself, and this is something that I teach, and then you can replicate what you had in college by building yourself up that way. Now, it doesn't happen as quickly and as, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> in quite the same way as it does in college. People are a little smarter, people a little bit more mature, um, but it does work. And I think it's actually better than it did in college, at least less chaotic or whatever. Uh, and the other thing too is, you know, focus on improving yourself little by little every single day and being patient with yourself and just accepting the fact that, hey, you're not where you were before and that's okay. Uh, but in reality, once you get better and better, uh, you're going to be even better than you were in college because you're smarter, you know more about yourself. The good thing about men is that, you know, we have the benefit of getting better as we get older. You know, men don't, in my opinion, men don't hit their peak until they're past their late 30s. And so if once you're getting there, um, feel encouraged that you're going to be, you know, a better version of yourself tomorrow and the day after and the day after. And if you hit a road bump or you hit a speed bump, be patient with yourself. It's okay, but you have to improve on your skills, the way that you talk to people, your game, <laughs> so to speak, uh, as well. And a lot of that time that depends on how you feel in the moment. So if you're feeling bad and you're feeling like down on yourself, you're not giving yourself credit for those small wins, then yeah, sure. You feel like your mojo is going to be off and you feel like women aren't going to be reacting to you in the same way. For me, usually I can build up a guy's mojo pretty quickly if I work with him for a little bit or he goes through one of my programs. Um, so that's something that I know can change pretty quickly, but it starts by giving yourself credit for the little things, working on the basics, don't being too hard on yourself. Shed that ego and you're going to be just fine. Cool. Well, thanks for watching you guys. If you want more information about this, I highly recommend that you check out my free texting sheet or you, get, you reach out to me for coaching or whatever. Fill out some of those forms, click on some of those links um, and uh, yeah, we'll get back to you. Good luck out there, you guys.